My name is Steve Taylor. I'm the principal of Indian Ear Middle School. Well, obviously, anyone who's had children, uh, both a boy and a girl, know that they are different. And so what we've done is we've done a lot of research in the differences of um, how boys and girls' brains are made up, what their interests are, what motivates them. So what we did was we um, have taken those strategies and we have developed them um, into boys' classes and the girls' classes. We know that boys are have a much shorter attention span than girls have, so that we have set the boys' classrooms up so that they can get up and move around and lay on the floor if they want, whatever, uh, while girls are much more organized. Um, they sit at table, round tables, facing each other, um, sharing things, um, doing that sort of thing. Uh, we know that boys like brighter lights, so we have the boys' rooms lit a little differently than we do the girls' rooms. Uh, boys, we set them side by side because when they look each other in the eye, it becomes more of a confrontational type thing. Uh, girls, again, set around tables where they can make on eye contact, where they can uh, make relationships, and, and that sort of thing. So, I mean, it, it's really interesting to be able to see those differences and to be able to maximize them. My name is Andrew Miser. I'm in seventh grade and I go to Van Dievender Middle School. It seems like with more boys, the teacher is more based on the physical and experimental activities that you can do with the boys instead of just writing down stuff. We um, did some picking out stuff and rolled dice to um, find experimental probability. My name is Madison. I'm in seventh grade and at Van Dievender Middle School. And I think it's helped me in the sense of without kind of the boys there, I've had a lot of improvement in math class because last year they thought they were doing it right and I'd ask them and they were thinking the same way I was and we weren't on the same page. So I've always had that kind of problem right there and it improved my math grade quite noticeably. I'm Noelle Clinton. I teach mathematics, uh, seventh grade girls. Um, the biggest thing that I notice in teaching all girls uh, compared to last year is that last year I'd have shy girls who would not say one word or not uh, would not participate in class activities or uh, discussions. But this year, all girls tend to want to do that. They have, uh, I think, a more of a safe haven when there's no boys to uh, be embarrassed in front of. And girls tend to support one another if you have a very nurturing environment and um, provide them with that safe haven that this is just the girls and we can, we can say what we think and uh, give our input on things.